Hello everyone, welcome back to the Map of Mathematics. In this video, we are going to solve this nice exponential problem. And here we have 4 to the power of x minus 8 to the power of x is equal to 2. And we will solve this exponential problem for the value of m. So the very first thing we are going to do is here first I can write this 4 as 2 square and its whole power x minus we can write this 8 as 2 to the power of 3 and its whole power x is equals to 2 and after that uh, I can apply here the nice exponent law and you know that if we have a to the power of m to the power of n so it is equals to a to the power of n to the whole power m okay so that we will just interchange its exponents on both of the terms so that this expression will become 2 to the power of x and whole square minus here we interchange these two exponents and we will get 2 to the power of x and its whole cube is equals to 2 and after that we will uh, make this expression in simplified form so that uh, here we take just y is equal to 2 to the power of x so when we take y is equal to 2 to the power of x so this expression will become y square minus y cubed is equals to 2 okay after that we will uh, rearrange these terms and we will move all the terms in the left hand side to the right hand side so when we take this minus y cube to the right hand side so it will become plus y cube when we take this y square to the right hand side it will become minus y square and it is plus 2 is equals to 0 and after that we will make the factors of this cubic equation and in order to make the factors of this cubic equation we will write it as y cubed minus y square plus here we have 2 I can break it 1 plus 1 is equals to 0 and after that we will uh, rearrange these terms and we will write y cubed plus 1 and similarly here we take common minus 1 from these two terms and it will become minus times of y square minus 1 is equals to 0 and after that uh, we can uh, write here uh, 1 as 1 cubed and this one as 1 square so this will become uh, y cube plus 1 cube or a cube plus b cube now it will become this formula a cube plus b cube and we know that this cubic formula is equals to a plus b times of a square minus a b and plus b square so now we apply here uh, this cubic formula and uh, as well as similarly we can apply here the this square formula and which is a square minus b square is equals to a minus b times of a plus b so that we will apply both of these formulas and this expression will become y plus 1 times of y square minus y plus 1 square minus here we have a square minus b square and we will write it as y minus 1 times of y plus 1 is equals to 0 and after that we will take common y plus 1 from both of the terms so now we take common y plus 1 from both of the terms and it will become y plus 1 times of y square minus y plus 1 and here we get minus times of y minus 1 and when we multiply this minus y both of the terms so it will become minus y plus 1 is equals to 0 and after that uh, we will simplify the terms and it will become y plus 1 times of y square minus y and minus y will become minus 2y and 1 plus 1 is equal to plus 2 is equal to 0 
and after that here we have two cases the first case is we take y plus 1 is equal to 0 and the other case is we will take y square minus 2y and plus 2 is equal to 0 so here we get the value of y is minus 1 and here similarly here we get y square minus 2y so that uh, in that case uh, we will uh, we will write it as uh, y square minus 2y plus here we have plus 2 and we can write it as 1 plus 1 is equals to 0 and after that here we just uh, uh, focus on these terms and it is equals to y minus 1 whole square plus 1 is equals to 0 and when we take this plus 1 to the right hand side so that this expression will becomes uh, y minus 1 square is equals to minus 1 so now here when we take the square root on both of the sides so this expression will becomes the imaginary or complex root okay so that we will just neglect this root we move toward this case and here we have y is equal to minus 1 and in the start of the question we will take y is equal to 2x so we will back substitute the value of y so when you put y is equal to 2x so it is 2x is equal to minus 1 and here you focus that uh, this is exponential uh, function and you know that the exponential function cannot be negative so that it is not equals to minus 1 so uh, this is also not possible so finally we say that the above or the given exponential equation cannot have the real root or real solution okay so thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe my channel for more exciting videos